some camera modifications. Um, people had complained that they couldn't hear me, that I wasn't loud enough, and I can totally understand that. So we actually got a back microphone for the GoPro, so hopefully now you'll be able to hear my videos a little bit better. Thanks. I came in right to the Christmas aisle and found some things, and now I think I'm gonna start over here in this purse, in this, uh, oh, look at that cute little Vera Bradley backpack. I like that. I will check everything and look for damage, obviously. Um, it looks like they just rolled this card out because it's completely packed full. That's Max New York. I don't know if that will be any good or not. Um, what about this one? Oh, this is nice. This is made by the American Leather Company. That's really cute, and it's got a nice strap on it, too. Oh, I like that. So we're just just uh, just getting here. I'm going to have to use the toy cart for just a minute just, just to be able to see what's in here. But it looks like we have some really nice stuff in here today. Um, you know, so that maybe it was good timing. I have a feeling they just brought this out. So I'll have to look through everything and see what's here. That's cute too, but I think that's a no-name brand. The hardware on it is really lightweight, so I'm gonna keep passing on that. Bump armor. This is this actually looks like oh it is it's brand new. I don't know if that's any good or not. I'm gonna toss it in the cart just because it's new and I haven't had a chance to look. You know, as usual. They, they don't always look through this stuff, so there could very well be some really nice treasures in here. Some more Liz Claiborne. That's like the third Liz Claiborne I found since I um, since I got in here. Oh, that's got some wheels on it. Um, here, I'm gonna pick up. I'm dropping stuff already. So yeah, been there five minutes and already dropping stuff. What is this? Lena. Hmm. It's cute, but maybe not what I'm looking for. This has got to be a Calvin Klein. Oh, it is a Calvin Klein, like a makeup bag. Huh. Interesting. It's kind of a weird shape. It's kind of big to be a makeup bag too. It's kind of big. Travel on. What is this one? I don't know what that is, but the um, the leather looks like it's peeling on part of the strap, so I'll probably leave that one there these little victoria oh this one's new with tags these little victoria secret duffels they do sell for me if they're cheap enough they they do sell um Happy so that one has oh so apparently it's senior discount day well i don't quite qualify for senior discount day but you know that's really cute but... that's cute but it doesn't feel very good so it's going to have to go back you never know what you're going to find at the bottom though here's a Targus Oh, here's a universal thread. Look at how cute that is. It's adorable. It's it's obviously brand new. I'm going to put this right here, though, just in case, because you never know. I might decide to take that. But I'm going to keep on looking in here. This new carts are always my favorite. You never know what you're going to find in the new carts. I like the new carts. See, that one's falling apart for that price. I have to say no to that. Got 
another laptop bag right here too, but that one's not looking quite good enough. Now this definitely looks like a sack purse. It feels like it. Oh, it's probably an older one too. But that one is a little, they overpriced that one. So that one's not gonna have, that one's not gonna go in my, in my bag today. If they don't overprice them, I'll take them. But, oh, this is cute, but it's, it's actually Target. A little crocheted bag right there. So I'm more or less looking for like hidden, the hidden treasures. You know, kind of like the old off brands where people are, you know, they, they, collect their stuff or they can constantly wear that's cute that's nine see this one's brand new too and how much do they put so this is brand new and they put twenty dollars on it i just it doesn't feel good enough to me so i'm gonna leave that one behind this is cute now i don't know what is that Organic rock. That is very interesting. It's kind of got some neat pockets. It does feel nicer. So I'm going to put that in my cart. As you can tell, I have lots of purses in here. I haven't even gotten to the bottom yet. I haven't even gotten to the shoe one. What is this one? Who makes this? MC. You know, this has got a nice look to it. It it doesn't feel, oh, there we go. Okay, the leather's peeling. Yeah, once it starts peeling off the strap, there's really not much you can do to it. Oh, they even got toys at the bottom of this one. Okay. I'm just kind of trying to move stuff over. I've kind of used all my space up here trying to look through stuff. Oh, this is nice. Hold on a second. So this is made, this is made by Swiss Gear. It is nice. I don't see a duffel strap with it, but it could be in there. You know what? I'm going to put this in the cart and then check because it's it's a big one. Okay. And I am going to look for the strap because it might have just fallen down towards the bottom or gotten, gotten... Well, that's a cute guest bag. 19... Does have a little bit of damage on the back. I don't know if this is going to be worth $12.98 or not, though. I'm going to say probably not. Uh, but we're going to keep on going to the bottom. Mm. Something is catching everything at the bottom of this. It has some kind of funny hook sticking out of it. Kim Rogers. What is this one? Oh, this is Samsonite, but it's got a lot of dirt in it. So, and that's another Victoria's Secrets, but I'm not sure I like the patent as much. Okay, so we're just going to put everything back in here so that nobody has to clean up after me. So I'm going to get all of this put back in there. I did get a couple of things. I, I have a feeling because of the price point, a few of these items um, are going to go back. But um, I've yet to look at all of the wallets and stuff like that. And, and I really didn't go through the toys at all. So I'm going to do a quick glance through the toys. Somebody dropped off a bunch of their oh, big lot Funko Pops. Yeah. I think the Funko Pops have kind of died. 
So... I think I'm gonna head over and look at the wallets. I can, I think I'm gonna put this back because I think this is just gonna be overpriced for what it is. Let me see what the regular price is on this one, this Victoria's Secrets, because it is new with tags. But depending on what the original price was, 60 bucks. Hmm. Maybe. It still might be a possibility. Okay, so let's go over here and look at the wallets real quick. And then we're gonna go look at the other shoe bin. Oh, those are nice. Who makes those Mia? What a nice color on those. I don't know. Text says textile upper. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Now, what about the holy crud? I have never, these look custom. These are definitely, I would say these are custom made for someone. And they are a size, they're a size 18. You know what? And they look to be brand new. I, I do think that they're real. They're heavy. Um, like what would I would expect from a Nike? Um, so I am gonna look that up. Because I can't imagine it's easy, and I, like I said, I didn't, I, I wasn't, I did not make a mistake. They are a size 18. Here's another pair. I can't imagine your life is easy when your your foot is a size 18. So we're gonna put those over there. I love seeing all the little kids snow boots. So cute. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. That's good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Have cancer and stiffness. That's even better. Yes, it is. That is even better. Yes, it is. Those are some J. Cruz, but I'm, those are cute. Now, what are these? Oh, those are lucky. Those are kind of cute. What do they mark those at? I kind of like the blue suede. They're nice. $9.98. And it is a discount. So, you know what? I'm going to put stick those right there for minute while I'm going through the rest of this. So this is one of the deep, the deep shoe bins. So yeah. Oh, look at those. Yay. Those are nice. Yeah, those are coming in the cart. It is harder to get down to the bottom of the cart when these bins are this, this large. Dirty laundry. Dirty laundry. Okay. So, you know, I have no idea what those Nike, um, the values are going to be. I mean, like I said, I, I grabbed them just because they, they don't have anywhere on them. Um, they look to be brand new. I will go and do a Google search. I do think they obviously are custom made. 
um, sometimes when people Nike will make custom made shoes for people and when they do you can actually have your name put in them so I will have to go in and see if these are actually um, you know personalized for somebody they, they might be because there seems to be some kind of a something on the front of them and I will have to figure out what that is they do feel like Nikes um, they're definitely heavy enough so a lot of things look right about them but I'm gonna have to go and look like I said because they're obviously gonna be a, cus a custom a custom made all right well you know what let's look through the little cart here Lee I have had some luck with these cards lately. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep on going today. I'm gonna see if there's any um, totes or anything over here I need to look at. We've got all the clothes. They're, they're definitely um, more crowded in here today. Um, so, it's not much, not as much room to move around today, definitely. But um, I'm just gonna keep on going. Now, in this store, there there is no cell service in the back. So, in order for me to to you know look up comparables if I'm not sure about something, I have to go to the front of the store. But I am gonna do a quick little look through the hard goods. When I came through here earlier, there's this people over here. Sorry. I really couldn't give you a view. Oh, look at that. So believe it or not, this is upside down, but this is actually a Christmas tree base and they put it like that because they didn't realize what that was, but it is actually um, a ceramic Christmas tree base. And you know what, I might take that with me. It's always good to have extra bases. Um, you know, I I do a little, little I do a little ceramic, so it's, it's nice to have an extra base here and there, especially for a dollar. Probably go see if they have anything else they they put over here that would be useful for that. That means they probably had a tree and it might not have made it. That's a shame. But we're gonna go through the hard goods on the way to the front and see what we find. It's definitely crowded in here today. There's a lot more people, so. Oh, look at all the pretty Christmas mugs. I do get excited when I see the Christmas mugs. Oh, and they got some bags down here, but that looks like ribbon and stuff. Oh, I wonder if that's glass. Oh, it is glass. Those are cute. I don't think I want to ship any more breakables like that, though. Well, let's, oh, look at this. Maybe we'll get like we'll get a Christmas bin. These don't look like Christmas. That does not look like a Christmas bin. That looks like a home goods. Oh, but this looks like it might be one. Well, oh, look at that. What is this? Oh, it's Talbots. That's pretty, though. I like the green. You know, once again, green is my favorite color, so I do stop for green. I'm not sure, though, about this. I like the inside, too, because it's a nice dark color, but I don't I don't think it's going to be leather. So I'm probably going to leave it, but I am absolutely going to check this bin because I have found some really nice collectibles in here over the past few weeks. I'm sorry. I'm gonna definitely look through that. Especially if nobody else is here. Oh, I wonder if that one is gonna be a, that one's probably a homemade one. Oh, how cute, look at those, I got tinsel on them. Yep, 
I'll see a lot more of this stuff over the next couple of weeks because people are getting getting their Christmas out and, and of course you know they're, they're donating what they're not going to use and stuff so Oh, I know what this is. This is one of those little collapsible sleighs, I think. Yeah. These are actually older, so like the sleigh can collapse like this, and then you can open it up, and then, but it's, it's broken in a piece, but those are kind of neat. Well, shucks. I was hoping to find some really, really good stuff in here today. Oh, I spy. You have no idea. I could probably sit down and do the I Spy Christmas book. I still love those things. Okay. Got some, oh, we got some little blinker bulbs. Oh, bulbs. I have a bunch of those already at the house. All right, I'm going to turn you guys off for a second. I'm going to do a quick look through my stuff. And, and away I'm off to my next stop. All right, so I wanted to do a quick recap for everyone here. Um, I didn't get a ton, I got a few things, but what I did get, I'm very happy with. I got a pair of dance goes. I got two pairs of size 18 Nike shoes. I paid $15.99 for each pair. When you get up into the bigger sizes like that, I usually do pretty well. So I'm excited to see what those will bring. I also got a pair of blue um, Lucky Brand suede booties. I got a pair of Ugg slippers, and I also got a little Vera Bradley uh, backpack. So, so that's all I bought today, but my total spent today was $66. So I feel like I have a lot of value for $66. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.